two letters, one word, the meaning of life. Bugatti. That's not two letters. How we doing? Previously on Kimba TV. Um, we would want to see if this is actually breakable. Um, and if, um, they can actually flip and go. But, um, this, I think, gets clean. And I, um, and I said it yesterday, too, but I still think this is possible next week. How we juicing up in this thing? Shwiggity! Let's go! How we doing, how we doing, how we doing? All right, I gotta chug this monster. Hey, Blazes, man, what a weekend! Five, four, three, two, one! Ding, 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 let's go! Oh, we about to get nasty today, y'all. Can we get nasty today, ladies and gentlemen? Talk to me, lions. Um, let me see when we're gonna go work out. Should we do a long stream? Should we do a long stream every day? Hey! Who that is? Lionel Johnson, thank you for the resub. Trader Ivan, thank you for the resub. Zex Crocs, thank you for the resub. Let's go. Hey, Twitch is gonna go nuts with ads this, this weekend, this month, I'm sure. Um, Hack Dog says, crazy weekend. Hey, hey. How, how many of y'all juiced over the weekend? How many of y'all got spanked a little bit over the weekend? How many of y'all now understand what I mean by be careful over the weekend? What y'all think about all that thangity thang thang, man? Um, I think overall pretty, pretty, uh, pretty dope. Um, you gotta be careful because this shit is bearish looking. I need S&P to look a little bit better than this. Um, that right there at 5,000 is a little bit of, uh, we got to be careful for that. Cause not only is it on zero day, it's actually sticking out for all expirations. So I think for me, stop loss on the short starts around 58, 57. And then, um, I want to see if the bulls can reclaim 56 because I might even add to the short at that level. Am I looking to add on traditional stocks? No. No, no, no. So this looks super bad. And The problem is we really have no volume aside from this little cluster right here. Um, I doubt that will hold. Um, so you're potentially looking at 43. 40, 37. I mean, then this comes into play too. If this little, little, uh, little baby dick don't hold, oh, we're fucked. Yeah, let's see if uh, they can change structure. If bulls can change structure. I would assume you're going to be able to turn golden pocket into support if you're going to try to breach. Five minutes on the 30 minute candle close. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just watch S&P order flow and see how people are gonna place their bets. A 
Okay, I think I'm good to go. Let me, um, Joshi, Zine, Antonia, Chab, Superstar. Jeremy says, is Golden Pocket right here a good long? Brother, I have no idea. I have no fucking clue. Because we went way lower than I thought we would go. Um, I had some blind TPs get hit. But... Um, the problem with what we did last week and all of two weeks ago is I literally have nine sub accounts and basically 20, 20 here, 30 here, 40 here, 80 here. Um, so I got to figure out what I want to do. Um, the only way that the only thing that I'm doing is just getting stopped out in the shorts. Um, hey, Blaze's man, awesome, too much juice. Plus, I saw my mom after a while. Let's go, hey, Blade. Hey, hey, Blade, you're a legend, my guy. Let's go. Melody says, Are you still in this 70k short? I wish I had a 70k entry. My highest entry that I have is 65.5, and it's only 25 Bitcoin. Um, if, if you rewind and get caught up, most of my entries are between 62 and 63. Maybe 63.3. Yeah, so I wish my I wish we were trying to get a 600, 700, 800 Bitcoin short from 70.2. Um, but um, my average short is all you know maybe 62 to 63. So there's it's not as I wish it was 70. Uh, Shaman says, just would like to ask, what did I miss? Um, I don't know what you missed. So yeah, everything. I don't know when you got here, what you've been watching. Um, is you have a specific question? Replay active? No. So I, I've been saying this every day for the last couple of weeks now, but Twitch might discontinue the rewind. So, um, yeah, especially on Mondays, no, I have like a 20-minute intro. So, yeah, don't get so stuck on or, uh, you know, time waits for no man. So I, I think um, you guys got a little bit spoiled with the rewind. But if Twitch decides to disable that, um, just, just understand that, you know, it's a live stream. So you want to show up when the game starts, if that makes sense. All right. So, yeah, I mean, if for whatever reason, if you're late to the market or whatever, it's OK. You're late to it, you know, and you're just going to have to do whatever you can to get caught back up. All righty. Um, but, yeah, the rewind uh, should be up in a couple of hours, I think. Yeah, I don't um, they have t it takes Twitch a long time to synchronize all of their uh, caches. So. Iruzi says, isn't this the exact scenario we talked about that we breached 50k and everyone gets mega bears before we go? Correct, Iruzi. Um, but again, that's the hypothesis. The data has to tell us, right? So Iruzi, we did talk about this. You are correct. And we did have a hypothesis. You are correct. So what does the data say right now? Do, do, do we have bottom shorters trapped? What is the actual, not just people saying that it's bearish, but are people putting their money where their mouth is? When they're shorting the bottom, is there some sort of absorption or exhaustion going on? So, yes, Eruzi, this is exactly what we talked about. Um, if you remember on the higher time frames, on the bigger time frame plans, uh, we did talk about it. So now it's just a matter of waiting. Iruzi, um, I'm going to be 
I'm gonna. I'm trying to figure out how long of a uh, stream we should do today. I'm trying to figure out when I'm gonna go to uh, work out. Um, and I'm also figuring out. Um, what my Wednesday and Friday plans are because I was actually thinking about flying back to Cali on Wednesday. So, yeah. Any questions, Eruzi? Shout outs to everybody that's, you know, been following along with me every day for the last three weeks. If you're in that boat, you know what I'm looking at. You know what I'm looking for. Um, this is exactly why we were chasing all of those shorts for the last three weeks. In total, um, I probably have maybe 320, 330 short. Most of mine are from um, 62, 63. You know, all of the ones that we got filled on last week. Um, I have my stop losses and profits starting above 58. Um, I would, you know, look at that cluster of single prints as another potential short, but I don't know if I want to add any more. Um, if this zone around 50,000 doesn't hold, the next cluster is around 47, 45. And then if that doesn't hold, you're looking at the 30s, right? Yeah. So um, it's one of those things where if you weren't following along with me the last three weeks and you were in and out of the stream, you might be a little bit lost. Most of you guys know exactly what I'm looking for, the higher time frame stuff. I need to see structure change. There hasn't been one higher high that I can see on a meaningful time frame. So I need to see some structure change. Um, Giga Chad Flexington says Japan is so messed up right now. Mm, it's not really so much Japan's fault. It's just an amplification of everything. Okay, Joshi, start with July 22nd. On July 22nd, I come back from Hawaii. And what I say is we need to get into big ass shorts before FOMC. And then follow, watch each of these days and see how I'm trying, I'm chasing a short. First, I was like, okay, we gotta, I want, I want a short 70,200 Bitcoin. I'm like, okay, if we get up into 70,200 here, I'm gonna short 600, 500, 700, 800 Bitcoin. We didn't get it. It went, Phew. we said, fuck. All right, maybe it can come back to here. Psh, fuck, this was the first time, the 65,000, when we started to short hedge. And then between 62,000 and 63,000, we took a bunch of more hedge shorts. And then we got stopped out on the big longs that we had. And now the only thing that we have are the big hedge shorts. Well, they're not big, but... Um, and so we keep, we talk about how this level has to hold. That was sort of like our first area. That was our first area. And really this was kind of like the last area where you could have bounced. The zero five. So once you lost that, it was fuck. Um, and it's all kind of there. So start with July 22nd um, and see how we're trying to, we're chasing shorts every day, basically. All right, Joshi. But um, during those days, we talk about all this because what I like to emphasize is worst case scenario. I always talk about worst case scenario. Um, and even while we were up here, we're already drawing this channel. Okay, look at what it's trying to do. All 
All righty. Um, daily candle close above this line would be great, even though it will go back and like, you know, then the 51.5 long attempt would uh, seem a little bit easier. You just said, you just said. All right, so then have this make a higher high, and then I'm going to take the higher low attempt. Bugachi! Um, so yeah, it's got to show me that we're bearish because we already talked about how if you can't start to get back in here immediately, you're probably looking at these getting swept. 42 which is a much, you can kind of see how much more volume there is down there. So these are the dailies, right? There's way more volume here, way more volume here, more volume here. These are the smallest sets of volume right here. All of this. So... So like look at look at the volume node that it bounced off of. You really think that's going to be strong enough? Roger, Roger. Well, 56,000 is the first sort of significant hurdle that Bitcoin bulls would have to get over. Therefore, whether it was a little bit before or you still think that it could sweep those highs one more time for you to maybe get in at the 7.5 or something like that. Uh, single prints are above there as well, but 56, that zone is like the initial sort of uh, uh, resistance. Also, that uh, low down there is weak. Uh, and then on top of that, you got Binancio Magneto down there. Um, so this could be like that trident play where it goes one more time, really freak people out, and then Bugatti on them asses, you know what I'm saying? Got him! Got him. But um, but uh, we got to be careful because um, well, it's probably never going to happen. But there was talks about like an emergency Fed uh, rate cut. Um, but um, the uh, you know who gives a shit about Wall Street and Jerome Powell has actually said this many times that constitutionally that that's not their mandate. They don't give a shit if the stock market is good or bad. So, um, yeah, let's, yeah. So, but it would be funny though, if we get in on a long and then they do like a fed rate cut, that would be hilarious. But, uh, I, I doubt that, uh, they will break that. That being said, 47, easy, easy. Um, it's about it. I'm not in any longs. I still have a whole, you know, plethora of shorts open. Um, and I've only TP'd 90% of the short. And I'm, I haven't gotten into any long. But um, if they can flip 56 and or, here's how the daily candle closed. You see, Are you seeing this, bro? Bruh, 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 bruh. Lions, lions, what the fuck, what the fuck. Everybody get an exclamation, WTF. Not enough Latushi. What the fuck? What the, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Hey, by the way, hey. Y'all remember, we nerded out on how to draw this. You know, because this isn't like the stereotypical, you know, a lot of people would pick it from here probably and let it pierce through that or something like that. But we went through candle closes. Okay, so this is what it looks like candle close. What the fuck? Yeah, and uh, we didn't really, I didn't really take a position today, but uh, now that it's kind of done this, we have some volume nodes and we have some fibs and we've got some VWAP that can help us out. So, um, yeah, all lies on 56 zone, like 56,000 to 56,8 maybe. 
basically the Kimba box, and then we'll, we'll see um, what that reaction is looking like. If bulls are serious, they would penetrate that. But uh, this is pretty fucking crazy. How many of y'all were here when we drew this uh, channel? Everybody Gucci? Uh, we drew it this morning. We drew it last week. But all, the point was, every time I did it, I said, go to the candle closes. And so this is on the eight hour. So here you go. So eight hour candle closes. You need three touches and two touches on the other side. So one, two, three. Those are the ones that line up the best. And then that one, that one, and this one. And then take it back to the daily. Yeah, so that's pretty crazy. But um, yeah, it's always the same methodology. It always looks a little bit different because I think people Let's always ask about wicks and stuff. But we just went with candle body closes. And this is going to be kind of like your uh, bearish retest. That 56, uh, 5 to 56, 8 zone. So this, not that hard. This part is going to be interesting. I'm just a little worried that S&P is going to try to... Yeah, but it's all in. Um, it's all it's all talked about. So the Bugamas were pretty crazy today. Try to kind of follow along on that journey. We'll see what it brings tomorrow. Um, but yeah, and in general, I think um, S and P is like Bitcoin, and Bitcoin is the shit coin. You see this? So if uh, S and P goes, then Bitcoin will go harder. If S&P dumps, Bitcoin will probably dump harder. Alrighty. Um, what else? Yeah, I mean, in, in general, Coke Zero, this is not too bad. This is really good, actually. Were you there when um, we drew this? This is as perfect as you can get. So, um, yeah, let's see. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out if there's like a good um, version of. Uh, yeah, it's. Um, I guess I can't find a good example right now, probably because I'm on the daily, too. Um, but yeah, I would, uh, just be careful and, uh, continue to monitor the SM pies. Dread, what's going on? I'm about to dip out, but I'll see you tomorrow, Dread. Um, yep, but Coke Zero, remember too that, um, like, um, you know what would be really a uh, fucked up way to uh, close tomorrow? What would be the most fucked up way to close for us? It does that. Opens and close, same price, but it goes up, it goes down, it stays right here. So lots to kind of think about. Um, and then if this just does something like this, then we're back in the game. Then you really only have this. You're back in the game. So you're starting to change structure. You know, I might we I might be looking for something like here. Ideally like a um like a value and uh high, low, breakout, we're back in the game. But uh, if tomorrow is some goofy shit like this, oh boy. 
Bing bong, ding dong. Ciao, man. But yeah, man, yeah, man. Maybe tomorrow this, and then this. And then this, and then this. Who knows? I'm excited for tomorrow. I'm excited for tomorrow. Ding 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 ding. That means that it goes what? Back down to here. Five one six. So. Seven five, golden pocket. Okay, so maybe take all fucking day. You see, you see this a lot, like this, and you're like, um, fuck, it's going to break, it's going to break. It just shits itself. Mm, I don't know. We'll, we'll see tomorrow. Huh? No, cause, cause freestyle JT. You know what? We kind of went through these sort of different scenarios, and I don't mind going over it again. But make sure you get caught up. There's the scenario where it grabs the first cluster of single prints and imbalances, but it leaves the second one alone. That's the one that I like. Okay, um, and so that's what it did exactly. You know, Coke Zero, a lot of people are already in shorts. 56 is the number that I threw out this morning that I said it might be a short. One thing that would kind of bother me about the short right now is that S&P doesn't yet tell me that it's bearish. I need, because if it's going to wind up like this, you know, this is a continuation. So if it came from that, there's a slightly higher probability it's going to do that. So I need to start seeing candle closes below here. I don't see any candle closes since this one. This one broke through and it has not had a single candle close in the last 30 minutes. That kind of is concerning for a short, no? Right? So we kind of talked about that and we talked about, okay, so the most ideal, the most bearish would be, let's just grab, and I, I don't know if there, it's, it's going to definitely be in the highlights. I don't know if somebody has a clip of it, but I drew, their one scenario was like this. Let's leave that shit up there. Okay? 56,000 is the level that we were kind of talking about. Okay? And so, you know, it, it grabbed the single print. It stopped at, you know, basically held the 6.6. Six, and could it go now? Sure. The, again, the only problem with that is I don't know if S&P is um, done pumping up. And if S&P does this, what do you think this will do? And I talked about it earlier in the day too, but if S&P is going to pump, Bitcoin will probably pump harder. If S&P is going to dump, Bitcoin is probably going to dump harder. Alrighty, so you still have levels coming up and then there's the, so what would be if, it, if this does move up, okay, if you are looking for a short, do you want, which one do you want? Do you want this or do you want this? Okay, the other thing too is um, if you're in a long, which one do you want? And if you are in a long, just because it does this, what's your worst case scenario? If it goes up here and you're in a long, what's the worst case scenario? Or let's even, let's even say normal. What would be something that you shouldn't be scared about?
And if you are in a long and that is absolutely unfucking acceptable, then you should start to hypothesize. Okay, if I shave thirty uh, percent here, thirty percent here, and the rest here, my total realized PNL would be. And some of those um, outcomes, the hypothetical outcomes, are gonna be one. You're gonna stumble upon one where it's like, yes, I like that one, and that's the one that you should just go with. Um, so lots of stuff to kind of think about, you know, so it, whether you take a short from here and it does this or whether you're in a long from here or here and it does that. Okay. Longers, you want structure to hold. So that's your, um, sort of, uh, okay. You want to continue this. You know, some people are going to be looking at something like that for maybe like a possible, um, I don't want to say long, but none of these are meaningful edges. So you're going to have to start from here. So assuming that it goes all the way to the 7.5, your 3.82 pullback lands right there. That would be kind of scary, but interesting. But at that point, you would think it's going to sweep it. Something to think about if you want to catch to, I, we could do this all day, but I mean, um, I don't, I'm not privileged to the data that you guys will have. I'm not, I don't know what this movement is going to do in terms of OI. I don't know if shorts are going to close. I don't know if it's going to be a hybrid of shorts and longs opening. I don't know if longs are going to be opening and no shorts have squeezed out yet. Um, I don't know what this looks like. What's going on? Is it a whole bunch of, um, longs getting, you see what I'm saying? I don't know if that's going to have a hidden bull div. I mean, this, what is this? Oh, actually, never mind. It actually kind of lost it. Yeah, I thought it had it, but it didn't. All right, JT Glitch, have a great night, uh, ladies and gentlemen. You guys are the best. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace, y'all.